Hey guys, Rhino Bones here with an unboxing and building thing. Before I get into that, I do have a quick update. You know how I was doing two or three MRE videos every week or week and a half? Yeah, that caught up to me. So last year, at about this time, I went on a pretty good diet and I dropped almost 60 pounds. And that was kind of a big deal for me. I had never been that light, not since middle school. So I wanted to stick with it, but then, you know, I got into those MREs and I gained 40 of it back. So I'm going to take a break from the MREs for a little while. I'm going to try to get back on my diet. I might do a little bit of vlogging or something. My son, MDJ2K7, he wants to keep up with the MRE videos. So I'm thinking I might just hand that whole thing over to him for a little while. And uh, yeah, that's going to be his deal. I'm going to stick with toys. So my first toy coming up. is this ESA Link 60-piece Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton. I have been seeing these popping up on Facebook in my advertisements for a while, and I picked one up. Got this one from Wish.com, so I'm gonna chalk this up as a Wish.com find. I think I bought it for $11. I will uh, put it right here if I was incorrect. But I figure I'll uh, open this thing up and let's build it. At the base there, it's uh, purple. That's interesting. You can see all the paint marks, streaks from the sponges they use to paint it. Hmm. Ooh, got the actual T-Rex in the bag here. Start putting that together in a moment. Instructions. And uh, metal bits. Looks like we've got four metal pieces here, two little ones and uh, the main ones for the stand. Looks like tail in the front end. So I'll just slide those to the back of the desk. Doesn't even sit flat. What a shame. But then again, for whatever I paid for this, can't complain too much. See what the instructions look like. Oh. Let's see here. I've got no idea what this says. Let me get my app. All right, before installation, there's a number on each part. Don't look at the number on the small bag. This dinosaur's translation app worked. Let's take a look at this. All right. So we've got the basic numbers here. Looks like they go in order of how you put them together. Let's get started. So I've encountered a problem. I've gotten the ribs pretty much put together. However, there's this extra piece with a number nine on it. Oop. This right here is also number nine. And I've looked really, really closely and they are the exact same piece. I'm missing a number 12. So as you guys can see, I got a little bit of extra stuff done. What happened is the uh, battery went dead on my camera, but it didn't alert me or anything. So I, I had no idea. I got a little bit of extra stuff done here. I put some glue in it. This thing is just not holding together that well. You can see, gosh, it's all over the place. But I will persevere. I will get this finished. Hey. 
All right, I've got this silly thing put pretty much as together as I can get it. I had to use a whole lot of glue just to get it this far along, and it's still really floppy. Of course, that is kind of the material it's made out of. I don't know if you can see here on the tail. Let's see if I can get it to focus in on it. Come on. Okay. On the tail, there are some pieces that are broken. Like the little clip, not the clip, the little piece that goes into the next piece was too big and it broke the, pal the plastic. This is just really shoddy material. It's not good. I'm not sure if I'll be able to even uh, put this on the stand. Of course, these little pegs just will not fit inside these holes because they're not really holes. They're just empty, vacuous spaces, which I guess is kind of the definition of a hole, but in this case, it's not a hole meant for the peg. About as good as that one's gonna get. I'm gonna get some Gorilla Glue, be right back. All right, I'm gonna insert all these mumbly pegs and I'll get right back to you. Well, back again, it's been about four hours since I initially glued this stuff using some Gorilla Glue. And what it ended up doing is melting the plastic this thing is made of. Um, I checked the glue, it says it's plastic safe and it's meant for exactly this, bonding two different materials together. Yeah, uh, didn't do a good job, melted everything. So I am very close to just kind of giving up. I used some rubber cement that I had and I'm hoping that'll do the trick. But this piece right here is totally shot, um, melted all the way through it. And it's just not holding together anymore. So yeah, I'm kind of at a loss. It was a pretty cool kit to begin with. Um, Missing some ribs, that sucked. <laughs> um, you know, the pegs don't actually go in where they're supposed to go in. A lot of the joints here didn't actually connect together properly. This required so much glue. Um, and on the package, it distinctly said no glue needed except for certain pieces. But it needed glue for every single piece. This just did not snap together properly. Really disappointed with this. But then again, I did only spend about 10 or 11 bucks, so I guess you get what you pay for. This is one of those kits that they sell on Amazon for like 40 bucks. Um, I've seen it advertised ever, ever since I bought it. And yeah, I guess I got a pretty good deal on a big pile of junk. So there you have it. If you happen to see this kit, um, avoid it even if it's on sale. It just doesn't go together at all. I will possibly well, I am. I'm going to let this dry, and I will come back to it, but I am so done with this video. I've been working on it for way too long, and I'm just ready to quit. I miss real model kits. Maybe I'll find some of those in the future. All right, well, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this little review, and hopefully you avoid this particular dinosaur model. And have a great afternoon, guys. Bye. Been a while since I've done an MRE thing, and I've been doing those like two times a week off and on, and... Out of the way, Charlie. Charlie, move. Call the dog. Goodbye. <laughs> Come here, Charlie. He doesn't want to leave you. No, I don't blame him.